This is a six chord two row repeat pattern and to get started you want to arrange your chords in order. So I've got short chords in positions one, three, four and six and these want to be long enough to wrap around the wrist two to three times. And then I've got long chords in positions two and five and these want to be roughly three quarters of a foot per inch of bracelet required. So I'm going to add my beads before I get started with the main part of the pattern so that they're all ready to just slide into place as I'm working. You can add them as you go along if you prefer, but I prefer to add them all at the beginning. So I'm going to start by adding beads onto chord number one and I'm going to add a bead onto the chords three and four together and then add the beads onto chord six. So once you've added your beads, you should have something that looks like this and then you can move these out of the way and just push the beads up into place as you're working your pattern. For row number one, you want to push the bead up on the first chord and one up on the sixth chord. And then you want to take the chords in positions two and five and do a square knot over the chords in positions three and four. And for your second row, you want to push the bead up that's on chords three and four. And then taking chord number two, you want to work a hitch knot over chord number one. Make sure to capture this underneath the bead that you worked earlier. And then you want to do a mirror at the other side, taking the chord in position five and doing a hitch knot over the chord in position six. And again, make sure to capture this knot underneath the bead and then it'll hold it in place. And you want to repeat these two rows all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be.
when you've finished, you should have something that looks like this. So I began with a button, so I've done a button closure fastening, but you could do whichever fastening you prefer. And that is your completed bracelet.